Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. We are now tied one apiece, and I am expecting more DTs, because we game one we saw DT, game two we saw DT. If you are just tuning in, this is going to be game three between Dulife and Gauss. BSL Season six, uh, blah, 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 blah. BSL season 16, Hasu League, round of 16, Group B Finals here. Final match of the finals. Dulife at the 12 o'clock location as the Teal Protoss, bottom right hand corner, we have Gauss as the Yellow Terran, and already we see a probe pulled. Maybe even going to see two gate here. Gauss likes the uh, the proxy play. Really likes the, the proxy play. So we'll see what he's up to. Maybe he's just going to go straight two gate in the middle of the map. Looks like it is going to be the... Uh, it is possible he'll just do one gate. I'm curious if Dulife is going to be wary of shenanigans <coughs> now <coughs> after... On a three-player map, it kind of makes sense because you can drop the two gateways and then do scouting from there. We are not seeing a front door seal from Dulife or a seal at the natural expansion, so he is going to need to micro his way out of this. I don't know what the lag is like as well between these two players, but it's going to be that famous 9-10 gate. So first gateway planted by Gauss. SCV making its way out dropping and this is going to be a really challenging defense as well because this is a rampless map and do life has not constructed a uh, escape route so he's going to have to pure micro his marines through all of this and on top of that it looks like gauss is going to get first scout into his base refinery being grabbed so it's going to be a challenging defense all the way around in unknown lag conditions and let's see if that scv goes straight through the middle to discover this. Even discovering this, the best you can do is drop a bunker or even a second barracks and play from there. Actually, does this SCV... Well, just scouts around it. But once he finds an empty base, he'll know. Probe trying to do what harassment it can. <laughs> Additional SCVs pulling off the line. First grouping of zealots in construction. So do life will know what's up based on the scouting information now building that second supply depot along that edge but finding absolutely nothing here he's got to know it's proxy something the question is is does he he's dropped the factory so has the factory fairly quickly constructing the zealots making the way up so now it's going to be this scv is going to be critical both its defense and repulsion the zealots Delaying a bit. More SCVs pulling off the line. The Marine getting double hit as it's spawning. Looking for more results as part of this grouping, honestly. Marine dies. Probe gets wiped out. The factory continues to be constructed. This Zealot trying to draw troops away. Another Marine in construction. The factory timing is going to be absolutely critical here. More SCVs pulling off the line. And a third Zealot... <laughs> entering, you have a lot of standby SCVs to make sure that factory completes. Because once that first vulture is out, it's potentially game. But I will say Gauss has managed to kill a lot of Marines with these initial Zealots and is getting some good economic havoc done. Zealots, more Marines dead. We have now more Marines than Zealots. And if two Zealots come back and swing around and camp the lower sections of that factory... That could be that. Gauss right now economically ahead. Keep in mind the vultures can kill infinite zealots though. And I would be shocked if Dulife just gave it up with this. Four zealots now in the main. The SCV scattering trying to repair. We do need to see robotics facility. Yeah, there's the cybernetic score I should say. The cybernetic score. But Dulife kind of GG. He has been eliminated by Gauss. With two Dark Templar cheeses and some proxy gateways, Gauss knocking out someone that I thought was going to make it all the way to the round of four, to be honest. Well played. GG. <coughs> it's got to be frustrating for Dulife overall, though. I'll tell you what. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like and subscribe. I'm not sure if people have someone they're rooting for or if they have a villain now going into the later matches. Regardless, would love to hear comments. It's nice seeing comments out in YouTube land. Mostly because it lets me know everybody is enjoying and paying attention and whatnot. Um, don't need the external validation, but it's nice to get anyway. <coughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.